Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 30th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at amazing images of our sun, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with Daily Events Worldwide. No new major solar flares to report, only a strong M or C class solar flare, and no coronal mass ejections since yesterday. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, this is where we see lots of plasma shooting away from our equ equatorial region on our sun. Active sunspot regions getting ready to crest into view. And then the last 48 hours outgoing, this is where we saw the M class solar flare. And that large coronal mass ejection. Amazing images here of our sun. And solar cycle 25, having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. And as well noting plasma filament in the last few images there. Keeping an eye on that filament eruption. And as well, we have elongated coronal holes one turning away and getting ready for one getting ready for an earth facing time and then 171 angstroms here just another way to see our sun in all of its beauty and right now there are five sunspot regions two cresting in and three turning away let's have a look at these sunspot regions in fluid motion another light Current space weather conditions, we are still under solar radiation impacts from the strong M-class solar flare yesterday. Solar winds are currently coming in at 485 kilometers per second, slightly elevated due to the coronal hole wind stream enhancement. Solar X-ray flux reporting there, strong C-class solar flare, and as well noting out all of the activity from yesterday. Solar proton flux starting to come down now, but still pretty high. Geomagnetic activity sitting at about a KP2 right now. Having a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center, not showing any new CMEs thwarted from our sun, but watching the right hand side bottom there, that is the incoming activity for the 31st. Current ISWA space prediction spiral updated here. See me taking off towards Bepi satellite. And here's a quick look at our Aurora forecast for tonight, as there will be a pretty good chance for auroras tonight across Canada and into BC and Alaska. So eyes to the skies for tonight during this solar radiation storm from our active sun. And that will swing around the planet, but not as strong or prevalent in parts of Europe. Having a look at Alaska 3 here, or showing the last 48 hours of events. There's that massive CME from yesterday. Just amazing images and the instant radiation and static interference on satellite here. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as USGS is up in over 300 earthquakes in the 24 hour period, but this map looks very quiet right now. Most notable and strongest earthquake today, a 5.1 here, South Sandwich Islands, and as well a 4.9 reported there. Lots of activity still north of the Virgin Islands. Strongest through the region today was a 3.9. 4.7 earthquake here, reported in Nicaragua, 35 kilometer depth. Minor activity all across the North American plate. And as well, lots of activity here. Hawaii today, strongest being a 3.4 magnitude. And as well, 4.0 yesterday reported off the coast of Oregon. Wanted to show you here all this minor activity that's happening across Hawaii all in a southeast elongated 
motion southeast of the Kilauea caldera. Looking at about 59 earthquakes around the region, about 130 on the island themselves. No other major swarms to talk about, but notable activity through the Salton Sea this week or today, and as well, minor activity, LA today as well, up into Idaho, increasing seismicity, and as well, notable, lots of activity west and southwest of Yellowstone Lake, Warm River, Idaho, reporting lots of minor activity today. And minor and spread out seismicity across the Pacific Northwest, nothing major to report. But it is very quiet, as you can see on this map right now. Yeah, we're up in over 300 earthquakes, but a lot of those are minor. Way too quiet across the Pacific Plate right now. We should be seeing something through the region and as well something through the Fiji region. So heads up. Stay aware and prepared. If you live in an earthquake prone zone, just be ready because we could be seeing something here soon building. Quick look here at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Things have been steadily increasing all week long. At one point, about four or five days ago, we were up in over 400 earthquakes in a 24 hour period. And it hasn't really calmed down since we've been up and over. 230 to 250 earthquakes so slightly above average and steadily rising way too quiet Pacific plate way too quiet North American plate lots of activity building right up the coastline as you can see from Nicaragua and north to Alaska now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. There are multiple flood alerts throughout this hazard app. We've got Popo Paquetito in Mexico, Fuego, Guatemala. All across central United States and eastern seaboard, a lot of flood alerts from the most recent systems rolling through. Got Senge in Ecuador, Dokono in Indonesia, Semeru, Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, Nevada's de Ruiz, Colombia. Other than that, no major volcano eruptions to talk about or report here. Give you a quick glance at satellite imagery around the world. Big system off the coast of Canada and the U.S. right now. Pineapple Express on your doorstep. Lots of moisture forecast here over the next seven days. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia. Lingering low across the Northern Territory, New South Wales. Overlooking Africa and Europe. Things are staying pretty dry across Central Europe right now. Tropical Cyclone Angrek still alive, Category 2 headed south. But things are about to change for Europe. Let's have a quick look here at snowfall totals and forecasts for the next 10 days across the United States. As California, Sierra Nevada's higher elevations could be receiving upwards of 190 centimeters of snow. And as well, parts of Colorado, upwards of 90 centimeters of snow. Other than that, across Canada, it's going to be pretty widespread through northern Ontario in the prairies and then the Atlantic provinces. Other than that, we've got a pretty long dry spell ahead of us through Ontario. Quick glance over Europe for snowfall totals over the next 10 days. As we've got some pretty big systems moving in. By February 1st into the 2nd, you're going to start to see the winds shift all across Central and Eastern Europe. 
as that low swings down in, in over Turkey. By the 6th into the 7th, you're going to see another system come in through Finland, and that will be a very strong one. Strong winds, heavy snowfall associated, and lots of moisture heading through the Mediterranean. And then you've got another strong low headed towards Ireland and the United Kingdom. Overlooking Australia, Indian Ocean, and Southeast Asia. A couple lingering cyclones in the South Indian Ocean. And as well, some strong low pressure systems heading into the Northern Territory of Australia. One lingering around New Caledonia. Other than that, forecast models not showing anything extreme here developing in the long range, but we will be watching these low pressure systems here. Then overlooking North America. Pretty strong low moving into the coastline here. Expected to landfall February 1st. And that will be bringing lots of moisture and snow to higher elevations all across the Rockies. Watch for a couple systems here to grind into California and the Gulf of Mexico. But high pressure ridge, a pretty prevalent all across Canada this week until the long range forecast 7th into the 8th where we see a Colorado low developing and some cold air developing behind that as the polar vortex is still trying to set itself up but it's not set up over our true North Pole. As you can see, our North Pole is over Siberia right now. Quick glance, this is our upper level winds. This is where we can see our polar vortex in action. As winter 2024 has been very strange so far. It took a long time to get started. We had that extreme cold period that we saw. And then there's our North Pole. But this is where our magnetic north is, where our polar vortex is spinning over Siberia, changing things dramatically across the world. And there are a lot of contributing factors that are helping with that. And there's also a lot of contributing supporters and lovers for this channel. Thank you so much for sharing and caring. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun. Get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.